Hey, yeah, what's up? The Disciple Marcello Currents Rain back up in this. Yeah, I had a quick, I wanted to do a quick video on <clears throat> quality. Qualities of persons, qualities of people, um, and the issue of people better than other people. Okay? Um, a lot of times people think that, um, that it's not, it's not, uh, how you put this? It's not polite to say that you're, <clears throat> that you, that you are, are better than someone. You know, um, this is how I feel. People are literally better than other people, but you don't treat people better than other people. Does that make sense? I, I hope I'm saying it right. But in actuality, people are better than other people. Just the best way I can describe it is, po is gold. <clears throat> you have gold, you have plastic. No matter what you do and no matter where you go in the world, gold is more valuable than plastic. You can go to Russia, you can go to Africa, you can go to Australia, you can go to South America. Plastic will never be greater than gold anywhere you go. Now you can try to make gold plastic feel better about itself. You can put it on wherever. You can put it on high expensive cars. You can put it on the best of um, houses and everything like that. But in all actuality, Gold is always going to be valued more than plastic. It's going to be considered better. It's just a reality. And so is it with the souls of men. This is a matter of souls. If your soul contains what you put in it. I'll say that again. Your soul contains what you put in your soul. If you put nothing in there, you put a whole bunch of garbage, like a garbage disposal, how is it that you think you're better than someone who has studied and applied themselves to information and knowledges that you have no idea of, that you did not apply yourself to? How are you actually better? <clears throat> so if I seen a person that put nothing but foolishness in their soul all their life, and then they try to stand up before the world and say they better than everybody, and they put nothing but foolishness in their soul all their life. Then you have someone who applied themselves to the true knowledge of what happened in the world, what happened in history, not what college taught us, the real information. They applied themselves to everything. <clears throat> This other person could have did the same thing, right? They just didn't do it. Okay? For whatever reason, they just didn't do it. All right? So when you when I stand them side by side, I obviously, <clears throat> based on their conversation, can tell this person is better. That they are more valuable than this person. Okay? But I don't treat the person like they're better than the other person. Although they will have, um, we treat everyone equal, right? That's what we do. No matter how much the value you treat everyone um, <clears throat> the same. Okay? But in actuality, there are people that there are values on people. Okay. There are values on people. If you decide that you want to be a loser and you don't want to apply yourself to knowledge, you don't want to apply yourself to anything in the world. You know what I'm saying? Then how can you actually think that you're better than someone that has applied themselves to all the knowledge, a person that even follows God 
and that and that and that doesn't even do the things that you do. How can you how can you think you can compare yourself to that person? You got to remember cars, houses even and jewelry and all that wasn't even around in ancient times. Not to the degree it is now. And definitely cars wasn't here. So if cars haven't been here but only but a century, how can you place a value on a man based on what he has or a car he has? You can't you can't place value. What did they do in the old days? In the old days, there was no cars. So how was a man valued? How was a man esteemed as a king or a queen or someone of value? Based on their information, based on the things their soul contained. Okay? That's why these people are out here buying things and getting all these things. And I'm not hating on that, but I'm pointing out that the real problem is they're getting all these things because they don't feel valuable because their soul doesn't contain anything. So in order for them to feel like somebody, they have to have all these things like, yeah, look at me, look what I got, look at this, look what I got, look at this and that. Because your soul doesn't contain accurate information, proper information, and valuable wisdoms and understandings on life. You're not able to draw from yourself and really help someone or help humanity. And you know it. So you have to draw on all these things that the world says make you valuable in order for you to feel that way, for you to feel valuable, you know? So, um, yeah, I just want people to know, you know, I mean, because all these modern things that we have haven't always been here. So how did people value people? It's based on what their soul contained, what their minds contained. You know, it, it was based on that. You know, so when someone says, you never be better than somebody else, or you're not, you're not better than other people, yeah, you are. If you apply information, knowledge, you, you, you have a walk with God, you're abstaining from the, the sins of the world, you're abstaining from things that are, 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 that are destructive, you are a higher quality than the person that's doing the opposite. Okay, if there's no such thing of quality or better, then why everybody don't have, uh, why everybody ain't a, 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 a movie star? Why everybody don't have uh, contracts with basketball in basketball? If everybody is the same quality, if, every, if no one is better than no one else, then why are, are there just a certain amount of football players on, a, on one team? Why isn't there just the whole city that wants to come in and play? Because some those players are better than the other people in the city and in the country. So in God's kingdom, you might say, well, why, why this, that, and the third? Why this person is so esteemed so highly? Because they are actually better, more valuable than you are. And so the consequences are harsher and more tri and more deadly playing around that person because they are more valuable than you esteem them to be in God's kingdom. God looks at that person and says, okay, you're not doing, they're not doing, they're doing stuff that none of these Americans are doing. And if they, if in, in, in he's, this person, he or she is more consistent. Overall, they have been more consistent in their life than all these people that's here and there all over the place. You know what I'm saying? So how mad can you be when someone's esteemed a certain way when you don't really know what happened? You don't really know what happened. You don't know what that person actually is connected to. All you can do is say, well, there should be some obvious signs of wealth. That's all you can do. When you try to look at valuable people, you look for valuable things. Well, we live in a world fallen system where sometimes valuable people, especially when it comes to the kingdom of God, when they're valued in the kingdom of God, they will be uh, excluded from the valuable things in their society. But they're the highest ranking, nevertheless. 
You know what I mean? So when people sit up and tell you, oh, there's no such thing. People are not better than others. They're lying. They're lying to you. There are people that are better than other people. Why you can't get the job that that person gets? Because they have, they are higher quality. They apply themselves to certain informations and they're able to get certain jobs in a certain amount of money that you're not able to get. It's time for people to stop crippling people, making them feel that they're just as good and better as other people. And you're not. You're not. And that should motivate you to become better. Can we all agree that we can become better? Okay. If we can become better, then there is someone that is better and that that person therefore is better than you. Okay. If you can become better, right? We all agree you can become better. There's nobody just is perfect. So we all can become better. So, there is a person that has already taken the step to become better than you. That, are be that is better than you are. And, and what people try to do is place the same value on everybody. And, and they lose, wind up losing the valuable. Trying to place the same value on everybody. Something that's valuable deserves to be treated as such. Something that is valuable deserves to be placed here and not there. You don't put gold in a pigsty. Who does that? Who will put pearls in a pigsty? Because it's people that's sick in their minds. They like to do stuff like that. Let's just throw this person in a invaluable place and situation because you're trying to take the value of that person. That's why people attack people. They're really trying to take your value. That's what they're trying to do. But you still are who you are. You still contain what you contain. You still have the information and knowledge that they don't. You still have virtue, spiritual virtue, spiritual power that they don't have. Now, yeah, I have to talk to people that are educated, that have certain knowledge. Okay, but you don't have spiritual power that comes from God. You don't have spiritual virtue. Those are the higher levels of elevation that your country, <laughs> particularly here in America, cannot teach you. There's higher levels of elevation. And you're not going to get it from school. You're not going to get it from books. You're not going to get it from applying yourself to information about an invention that man made. If I make a truck and you just get the information on how to operate the truck, how does that make you valuable, really? It makes you it makes you able to obtain obtain certain things. But all in all, let's just take away the truck. Okay, let's just take it away. Now, who the per who is the person? They no longer are, are, are considered valuable in their society. But with God's power and God's strength, you are valuable. When you have his power, his power is more valuable than any gold or silver or anything in your community. That's what you don't realize. That's why 